So I wanted to let you guys know that I was able to get back into game recently. I had Fingers log into my account for me and complete the character customization. And just today, in fact, we learned from the IC about the issue that resyncing your Windows clock might solve the issue for you. More confirmation is needed on that, but it's a lead and it worked for me. Fingers and I were out looking for combat beacons, killing time by unlocking other mission types. But during this, we'd stumble on the opportunity to rescue another player. But this rescue was a little bit different. Starting my 318-1 experience with a good deed might save good karma amidst the other problems that we are also experiencing. Just lost the marker. If you head to me, the day began with us taking on a caterpillar mission on Waller, but as we only planned to be in our ships for today, we had no personal gear whatsoever. This meant completing the mission from the air in a somewhat overkill manner. Quite a nice spot. Circle around a little. Get a different angle. Oh, oh, I saw some movement there. <laughs> As we cleared up the remaining goons, I'd receive a rescue beacon that was only 30 kilometers away from us, and a nearby mining outpost that we could reach very easily. We're, we're like, we're like super close to this dude. Fuck, target. Let me get out of the way here. Yeah. That's reinforcements. <laughs> I couldn't seem to share the beacon with fingers, but we were close enough for it to not really matter. You can't, you can't share them apparently, but it's over, literally over by here. It's at the oh, that's the, the rescue. Nearby. Okay, that it might be that white ship we can pass all the way in. Do you have any medical stuff with you? Uh, no. He might have something on his body we could use. Good point. Yeah. I'm going to the red contacts off to uh, port. I'm just going to check that out real quick. It's an NPC. I'm being, I'm being called probably by the dude, but I'm not going to answer that. Worst case scenario is we could run to an outpost, a loot box, and see if we can find a med pen or a gun. I mean, this is this is an outpost, so... There you go. Or, right, tell you what, I'll just stay in the air. You, you stay in the air. Yeah, stay in the air, cover this. Could be a trap. I mean, we're in Armistice Zone, so it wouldn't be a very good trap, but... I'll go and uh, see if I can sort this dude out. I was making my way to the HAB building that contained the marker, but even as I approached, the marker seemed to be moving. And in the airlock, an unexpected greeting. Hello? Hello. Excuse me! Hello. Can you... Hey, uh, do you have a spare helmet by chance? Wait, you're not wounded. Huh? You asked for medical rescue, but you're fine. I, I need a helmet. I'm at 1% health, and if oh, I walk out there, I'm dead. Oh, shit, okay. I don't have a spare, but maybe we can find one for you, like, if we look around. These places sometimes have boxes and stuff, so... Yeah, there's a there's a box right up here on this table, but I opened it and it didn't have a helmet. Okay. Okay, I'm gonna look in the other building and see if I can find a helmet for you. I'm sure there probably is one somewhere. Okay, thank you. So, dude, basically, this dude, he is not he's not down. He needs a helmet. He's at one percent health. And he can't breathe here. I guess his helmet vanished or something. So I'm gonna get, I'm gonna look around, find this dude a helmet. That's a rescue. It counts. He started talking to me, but he was very animated. He's got the most bizarre haircut. I might I might give him my helmet if if it comes to it. Could be a helmet here, but if not, Vlaz, who's joined the channel now, could always bring me a helmet. You know. If it came to it. Yep. The important thing is that we save this gentleman with the very odd haircut. Didn't you already get your one good deed for the year done? I did, but you know what? It, <laughs> the problem is, right, it's like the force balance thing, right? You do one good deed, then it makes you want to do more good deeds. Before you know it, you have a goody two shoes. <laughs> there was only one building left to check. 
This is the last building. I'm sure we can find one in here. Is this a ship here? Yeah, I think so, yeah. Oh, I got helmets! Yeah! Uh, uh, There's a local inventory, so I can just chuck it in there, take it over. I've got your helmet! I found a helmet! Find any weapon. Thank you. I'm coming back now. Okay. <laughs> Literally up on top of the shelves, looking around. There you go, it's one helmet. Thank you. And would you by chance be able to shoot me with the this micro or the multi tool here? Oh yeah, sure. I, I mean, filled it with a life uh, guard attachment thing. But when I picked up the multi tool, there was no attachment present, and we need to go find a med pen or med gun. On en route, I could learn about what happened to our friend. Yeah, I, wa I didn't realize I didn't have a helmet until I was at 1% health. Oh, believe me, I, I think we've all been there at one point or another. <laughs> Took off my helmet to take a drink. And put it <laughs> Are you new or have been playing for a while? Uh, this I've probably been playing for almost a month. Oh, okay, cool, cool. Sorry, that's my buddy in the air and he's, um, oh, okay. he's keeping guard for us while we sort your problems out. Normally, we carry a lot more gear with us, but we were out just doing, like, um, ship stuff, so we left all our gear back at, um, station. Oh. We answered your beacon, because, like, we were only, like, 30 kilometers away, so we were like, yeah, let's go and do that. But then I'd have an idea that would solve all of our problems at once. Oh, wait a minute. I just thought of an idea. Well, we don't need to do all of this crazy running around. We've got landing pads here. I'll just pull a medical Pisces. Oh, oh okay. Boss level stuff right there. Stop working smarter, not harder. <laughs> a medical Pisces can bring our friend back to health and also provide some supplies such as food and drink. Where's our dude? So if we jump into the back here, you can use the medical bed and you can grab some supplies as well. Ooh, oh my god. Gun. Thank you so Bless much. You. Great. If you want any like med pens or anything, please do help yourself and also there's your multi tool again. Oh yeah, well, uh, where are those at? They are um in here there's like a selection. Let oh, me get the that's... power on so you can see a bit better. Perfect. Thank you. No problem. Yeah. Have safe travels. Thank you too. I like your videos, by the way. <laughs> I guess you know who it is, then. <laughs> yeah. Dude, literally at the end there, like right at the end, he said, "I like your videos, by the way." <laughs> <laughs> so we begun our three eighteen one adventures with a good deed, and it felt good. Don't worry though, we'll be running our usual mix of good and criminal antics as we move forward with this patch, along with some more of the unreleased battles, as the response to the first one this week was very positive. I also want to announce the winner of the Star Citizen game package, complete with Consolidated Outland, Nomad and LTI, John O'Loughlin5782, with the comment seen here is the winner. Congratulations to you, if you contact me via Discord, I will arrange delivery of your prize. We have another LTI ship game package to give away this week, but for something a little different, we're going to run this giveaway over on the Skunkworks Discord. Link is in the description of this video. As always, I want to thank all of you at home for watching, and most of all, our amazing patrons who you can see on screen here. Each and every one of these generous folk are the reason we can put out videos several times a week. I am very grateful to all of you for helping me keep this channel going, and in this video, I would especially like to thank Cutalocus and GS. Cutalocus is a member of the Skunkworks org who I know quite well and I want to say thank you so much for supporting the channel. And GS, you two, hugely grateful that you've decided to become a backer over on Patreon. Thank you. We'll be back with more from Star Citizen, including some of the problems with the new patch, very soon.